deadly influenza pandemic or nothing worse than a mild case of the flu. Here in Thailand, their swine flu vaccination program has just begun, but in other parts of the world, serious questions are being raised about the handling of the pandemic. Health officials around the world had believed swine flu could kill hundreds of thousands, if not millions. They introduced emergency measures and spent in excess of $20 billion on vaccines. But now Wolfgang Vodard, head of health at the Council of Europe, says they got it wrong. Not only that, they were misled by the World Health Organization and unduly influenced by drug companies. The WHO, in cooperation with some big pharmaceutical companies and their scientists, redefined pandemics and lowered the alarm threshold. Those new standards forced politicians in most states to react immediately and sign marketing commitments for additional and new vaccines against swine flu and spend billions of dollars to catch up. France is one country feeling the prick of embarrassment. Officials spent a staggering $1.25 billion buying 94 million doses of H1N1 vaccine. So far, only 5 million have been used. Now the country, like many others that bought big, is trying to sell off surplus stock. Having committed to buy the vaccines, Dr. Vodag says health officials then sought to justify their decision. Never before the search for traces of a virus was carried out so broadly and intensively. Besides, many cases of death that happened to coincide with seropositive H1N1 lab findings were simply attributed to swine flu and used to foster fear. Nearly 13,000 people worldwide have died of the virus, the largest share in the United States and Canada. Officials say it's now peaking in Central Europe, parts of Asia and the Middle East. But it hasn't been the killer some predicted, when the figure of 12,000 is compared to more than 250,000 people who die of seasonal flu each year. Dr. Vodag says the H1N1 vaccine was not sufficiently tested and was needlessly exposed to millions of healthy people. Drug maker GlaxoSmithKline have responded by saying... Allegations of undue influence are misguided and unfounded. The WHO declared that H1N1 swine flu met the criteria for a pandemic. Responding to it has required unprecedented collaboration. As WHO has stated, legal regulations and numerous safeguards are in place to manage possible conflicts of interest. The Council of Europe has decided to investigate his claims. If proven, the industry that profited most from the pandemic, the drug companies, may now have the most to fear. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.